Hello, saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. What it is, ladies and gentlemen, what's up, Billy Goats, cats, and little turtle frogs, whatever you are, welcome to I Hate the Homies podcast, episode number 52, anniversary episode, I be rock teasy for sheezy. It's your boy Griff, the first homie, and 52, I'm gonna go simple, Khalil Mack, how about that? Dude, not not Ray? No, I feel like picking Khalil Mack. Not- not I'm not going to argue with you on this year anniversary, dog. Ray Lewis? I'm not. And it's his birthday today, too. So <laughs> we'll add Ray Lewis. <laughs> I just wanted to do one, and I still call <laughs> Funk. Where you at, Dave? How many shows have we done? 52, man. This is number 52. So this nigga I want to wait to the last 50, to number 52 to do one number or one person. That's it? Oh, That's all you man. got? I, a lot of I, other I, times I, when I tried to stop you, you wouldn't, you didn't want to listen. I feel like the pressure is just too overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> I've been trying to get you to do one person every week, and now you want to do it. He gave you Ray Lewis. That's the big number. And I do one, and there's still two. See? It's a <laughs> slippery slope. <laughs> there it is, man. Let's get into it, man. We got a lot to talk about. Ja Morant playing with guns again on Instagram Live. I can't believe this, man. I, I can't wait to hear what y'all think about this. Of course, NBA playoffs is 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 bananas right now. The champs have been sent home. Uh, male plastic surgery. Yes, there's some males out there, Super Dave. Doing what? That wants to become taller. So they're having a surgery to increase oh. their height. So we're going to talk Why about that. Why you say my name? Why you say my I- name? I'm just I've saying. known about that for a minute. Yeah, yeah, man. So then the NFL schedule was released, so we're going to highlight a couple of those games to look out for and all that good stuff. So uh, let's get it popping. Episode number 52, it is the anniversary of I Hate the Homies. It starts right now. Let's go, Ray Duggle. You done messed up, A.A.R.O.N.? Yeah, huh? I've been geeking for this broadcast. Got me in my bag, cause all they do is talk a lot of trash. Wait until I see them face to face off of this podcast. What you gotta say now? Check the facts, don't have a wrong stat. Rock to he a genius as a sport, make Ricky smile, boy. Super Davey Holly come up short on like it's cowboys. Always controversial, grip call out plays, no rehearsal. Got me talking all in circles. I hate the homies. And Griff be laughing like it's funny. But they never bet no money. They my mans, but they throw me. Ah, I hate the homies. All right, so before we get into the episode, um, happy Mother's Day again to you guys' as mother. Um, I'm not sure what you guys did, but I had an amazing time with my wife and my mom and, and, and some of the family uh, women in our family over the weekend. I, I, I pulled out to... Everybody wanted my macaroni and cheese and barbecue maple sugar spicy ribs. So I was kind of the chef over the weekend as well. Took moms to go out to eat at one of her restaurants as well on the day before uh, Mother's Day. So um, I had a great time. It was a good time. What about you guys? I took my mother her gift. I didn't give my wife anything because she's not my Not mother. my mama. We talked about I got my <laughs> sister something. And I had got my mother something and my mother-in-law. We took all their gifts to them. But for my wife, she got nothing except something from her kids. Not my mama. My kids gave it to their mama. And that was a happy Mother's Day. And also my birthday over the weekend, too. So that was I, a uh, I, I, <laughs> I flew to L.A. Um, Sunday morning to see my mom and all my brothers and sisters are out here. I'm out here right now. And uh, we probably get together hard family-wise every couple years. So it felt good uh, to be home. It, it felt good to be home. But I just, I, I, my wife had a really hard Mother's Day because this was her first Mother's Day without her mom. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So then I wasn't there. But from now on, I'm just going to make sure she with her kids every year. 
Mm-hmm. Like, that's going to be my gift. Go be with your kids. Suck it all in. Your grandma. You you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't want her to feel like how she felt. Uh, like, it was kind of sucky. But I did this Mother's Day event. And so my mom, w- so my wife wouldn't feel bad. I brought my, her, her mama ashes on stage with me. Dope. Home. That's dope. That's dope, dog. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. You <laughs> I was gonna say, don't say that's dope, man. Right. Hey, you man. Know, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Rock T will say anything. Hey. Anything, I'm man. Ride, I'm gonna ride it out, dog. But that, no, for real. That's dope. No. He no. Had the ser- I, Griff, he had the serious look on his face like, that's dope, man. I'm looking at you like, man, don't start that. Come hey, on, man. Don't do that. I was trying to make my wife laugh the whole time. I said, hey. We could put some wheels on it and she could be our emotional support urn and just walk her around like a leash and just that's, pull it. That's dope. That's dope, dog. <laughs> See? Look at him. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities in partnership with the Third Good Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. Hey, let's hey. talk about who ain't dope right now. I'm so sick of dude. I'm done with him. I'm not a fan no more. Man. We had this conversation 12 episodes ago. I'm really, really, as a father, totally disappointed in John ja Morant. So this dude got on Instagram live again with his homie in the car. They chilling, yeah. flashing a gun. Uh, he was already suspended a couple of months ago, eight games for the same situation. He said yep. he went and got a little mental um assistance to kind of help with his mental uh, mental health or whatever. And he went to counseling, went to counseling, all that good stuff. And look, I'm gonna be straight up on this dude. Expect this dude to be uh have a a long suspension next year, probably the half of a season, half, I, I, at least half of a season. But there's a difference between being foolish and dumb and then let me hear you let me hear your differences give me a foolish and a dumb difference okay being foolish is like you make a mistake okay my bad boom learn from it keep on moving i shouldn't have done that i should have known better. take your whooping take your whooping right dumb is making the same damn mistake again (laughs) that's just straight up dumb now let me say this even though I'm disappointed, I'm concerned as well about this brother. Mental right. Health. I'm really concerned. And I and I know I can sit up here and go hard about why I think this is dumb. This is stupid. You should know better. All that stuff is true. But I'm a little concerned. Is it, do we blame Pops? Do we blame him? Do we blame the, the circle of people that he hangs with? I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to him because he has the right to make the choice and the decisions to learn from mistakes in the past and not continue to make them same ones, especially one like this one. So I got to put them in a dumb, stupid category for now, man, because it don't make no sense, man. And I'm with you, Griff. I'm, I'm very disappointed. Let me say this. I'm going to put them in a dumb ass category. Straight up dumb ass. I told you guys this, what, six, 60 days ago. When he brought up the, and this is the part I really get mad at people, and not just him, a lot of people use this. A lot of people really truly have mental issues and mental health issues. But the bottom line, he didn't. He's being stupid. He's been a dumbass. Stop making excuses for this guy. I told you back then, I told you 60 days ago, even when he got on with Jalen Rose doing that interview and said what he said about this is going to be you a change. You ain't buy it. You did say I that. I told you guys that it was a bunch of BS during that time, and it was less than what well, it was sixty days, and we're back talking about the same thing with a gun on Instagram Live. It ain't the point of him having a gun. How dumb can you be, knowing that you're going on Instagram Live again? Stay your ass off of Instagram Live. What's the point of that? You can all have right. a gun all day, all night, as long as you have the license. I have no problem with it, but don't be stupid to blow everything right now. And if I'm the NBA, not the Grizzlies, if I'm the NBA, 
I ain't suspending this ass for for uh, for half a season. I'm going for the entire year, the entire year, so he get my message, get out to him, and get out to other NBA players who want to be stupid, who want to be dumbasses, and continue to do the continue to do the things they're doing. Because when LeBron, when Steph, when Durant are gone, this is your NBA. This is the guy you look for to be a superstar. Right. right now, he's letting everybody down, including himself. I I totally agree with what you just said, Super Dave. And I and I want to say this. First of all, I'm calling him Ja Wick for the rest <laughs> of my life. <laughs> um, I and I want to quote my son Julian. Julian texted me. I was in the air when the story came out, so he was like, "Man, I'm so sick of him." But I called him after I found out what it was. And I said, man, he got to get better friends. My son said for $193 million to play basketball, the basketball would be my friend. Come I on, wouldn't y'all. even be like that movie off. Cast, like that we, movie we, Castaway. <laughs> Castaway, and he was talking to the basketball. To Wilson, no, that's my friend. Talking to Wilson. The volleyball. Listen, listen while, we, while we laughing, it's two concerns here. Number one, the eight game Memphis suspension that he really suspended itself. And the Memphis was like, okay, we'll just make that little tap on the, and then him flying in to meet the commissioner and the commissioner telling him, looking him in his eye, Ja, you the future. I can't have you out. Like, come on, you're better than this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to do better. And then 60 days later, You do the same thing, brother, brother. The first time the endorsement stayed with you. The first time the sponsorship said, we're not going to leave here, young dude. But now I, I want to make this as plain as I can. Black, I used to tell my kids all the time, these rappers going to get you shot in the face. These rappers going to get you shot in the face because you're not, Y'all not from the hood. You middle class kids. You middle class kids. That want to be sitting up here talking about what you're gonna do. And if you had a strap, you ain't gonna do nothing with a strap. You all flinching for no reason. You not hard. But this whole trying to be hard. This is what concerns me, Rock. You trying to be hard, and you made it, my dude. Come on. It's ten million people. It's ten million good people who play basketball. That'll never get the opportunity you did. It's 10 million people that went to way better schools than you went to. That'll never get the opportunity that you did. You was the rookie of the year. You you got the respect of the OGs. And homie, this is not, LeBron and them can't save you right now. Like LeBron can't go to to the media or anything and say, you know, this is a good guy because that's going to scave LeBron's. Mm -hmm. LeBron, they can't help you right now. Partner, you in trouble, dog. And I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the week, they do say one year, yeah, one year. And and, and guess what? Mess up in that one year. You'll never play the book. We'll make you owe us this 193 million back. I'm I'm mad at him, dog. We talked about it on the morning show today. I'm mad at him, dog. Yeah, it, it's disappointing, bro. And your your son hit it hit the nail on the on the head, man. Because I tell I tell my kids all the time when they play basketball, I'm like, you need to be married to Spalding. That's <laughs> that's who you're married to. And and that's this is if this is what you want to do, this is gonna get you to the next level of your life, so you can take care of your family for the rest of your life if you do it right. If, if they do suspend him for a year, I'm I'm all for it, 100. Both of you guys, we I think we all agree on that. It is what it is, man. It's <laughs> What at the at the at the end? What is the major problem? It ain't the problem him carrying the gun. It's a problem him just continue to be continue to do stupid things like he's doing. What's the whole point of being on Instagram? No. I don't get that. Well, it, not it, it, only the stupid things that you're doing, dog. The rule I, in the click need to be no phones. No so, phones. No man. phones. So, so let's not, talk about that. Let's talk about that because his homie that was holding the phone. Now, if yeah. you notice, he tried when he tried to hurry up and put it down when he seen the gun. Like he he was over there and he went back and he saw Ja put the gun up like this. He hurry up and dropped the phone, but it's live, so it's already out there. It ain't like it was pre-recorded. So, but 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 let's just talk about that. You're right to the homie. Hey Ja, why you with me? We ain't doing no social media. <laughs> like why None. you with me? 
Now you can do whatever you want when you with some of your other boys, and homie, but while you with me, I, that's a real friend. That's a real homie. You have to make sure that you are not on social media unless you at the ESPYs, <laughs> unless you out with, you know, you're doing something with your mom or whatever. But other than that, let your social media person run your social media and you stay off of it. And and and, and if you're with me on my social media, because obviously that, that was his phone, then it's like I'm – I ain't even going. I don't want no picture with you. I'm never want, recording us together. Nothing. Never. I'm that, never recording us together. Everybody that know we friends know we friends, and I don't need to be out here flexing with you. Plus, I'm your real homie, so I ain't never gonna do nothing that's gonna jeopardize you. You the dude, dog. You have the guys, dude. Have guys around you that want to be around you because when you lose everything, those are gonna be truly your friends. Period. Because right now you got yes men. Yeah, they showing you off. They They're showing, showing off you because off. you They're their showing. homie. My ask Michael Vick. Michael Vick went through the same thing with that dog thing back I in mean, the day. You can ask anybody. That anybody is as long as. But see the problem. Again, the major problem right here is, and this is what they always run to, is what I have mental issues. I have a mental health problem. That's their go to line. It's like I told but you, maybe, but, but let's not downplay. There, there's something to that. Now, no, I'm downplaying it for him. With... No, I'm no. down. I can downplay it for him because I just told you exactly what I thought he was. I told you 60 days ago, and I'm telling you the same thing now. I don't believe him. He's a dumbass. That's but, it. But what has to do with mental issues? What causes? Nothing. What causes most poor choice making? Most poor decision making? It starts with some type of mental state of mind you have to be in a certain state of mind to decide oh i want to go rob that person i want to go kill that person i want to go whatever you call it you got to be in some kind of state it's a mind dave you dave what? you're in a you're in a mental state of mind right now griff's in a mental state of mind right now i'm in a mental state of mind we all are in a mental state at, at all parts of our days it depends on do we want to be in a positive state or a negative state you follow me? So there is something to it. Now, was it a stupid bonehead decision to do what he did? Absolutely. But there's something and for to that. It. And for that, Rock, he will have to pay. Right. For and that, that's for that's that alone, you. for the bonehead part two, that's going to cost you, dog. Yeah. That's yeah. The consequences that's, that's, for why, that one. that's why you would never get me to fully commit to what he really is. I'm not going to say it's a mental issue. I think it's a guy with a whole bunch of money, and you see this with most athletes. I can do whatever I want when I want because I'm Ja, and I'm making 190 million dollars. Period. I'm and you see it not just with this guy. You see, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Okay, I'm with you on that. We, we can go. This, we, we can. can we can talk guy. about this for an hour. I know. Yeah, we we can talk about out. this for an hour because the out. people that are listening, the people that's watching, saying the same thing. We're not saying nothing that nobody else is not talking about. I feel as a father, I feel like his father let him down. When he loses everything, he's going to be able to blame his daddy. He ain't going to be able to just blame his friends. He's going to have to, he's going to have to, they're going to make that, they're going to make people forget his name, dog. Griff, and he no, has a special Griff. name, dog. He's not a, he's he not a kid. special name, dog. He was He's next, not, dog. He's and not Harold Minor, not Harold Minor going to be the next Jordan next. He was next, no, dog. No, he was for real, even, dog. I ain't even talking about his daddy or his family. At the, at the When it's all said and done. It's him. It's him. That's it's him. Because he has it. a choice. He has a choice to tell Pop He's a grown chill. ass man. He has, a cho- he, has a, he has the power to tell his boys in his circle, like, listen, exactly. I don't roll. I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm not going to roll like this. Yeah, we down. acting like we are 11 year old with a bunch yeah, of 19 year old. Come He's on, man. man. No excuse. Man. No excuse. Let's move on, man. Let's talk about one of Dave's, uh, Super Dave's favorite topics, man. There's uh, males out there that's having this leg lengthening surgery. And I'm not talking about the third leg. I'm talking about like they trying to be taller. <laughs> Why y'all doing this? So we're going to get into that and why Super Dave is uh, subscribed to this. That's next. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries. 
that we all love so much, man. There are also golden opportunities in partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit and a hat with all a right, bat. All right, so, Griff, I know you've heard about this, so feel free to jump in and, and add to this, man. But there's this leg-lengthening surgery is gaining popularity among men seeking, <laughs> seeking to be taller. And this surgery is literally adding like two inches. They're stretching their legs out to add two inches to their height. So if Super Dave is 5'2", now he can be 5'4". I'm 5'6". Let me, let me, <laughs> let me tell you how. I, now, I know the dude that, that, that they did this to, but I'm a fan of little people, right? I'm a, I'm a fan of them. I like all their shows. I like, I'm a fan. I can't, I can't even lie. Okay, like, what, is a little, what is a little person to you? Make sure I get this right before uh, I get mad. Uh, what was the height? People that's people that's suffering dwarfism. People okay. that's I don't know. They about oh, three feet, two feet. I don't know how tall they are. They okay. little itty bitty, little <laughs> itty bitty people. But little, little Ewoks. But, but for all for all the shows that I've seen on dwarfism and little people on <laughs> TLC and families, they always want to get the limb lengthening surgery. And it really might only make them two inches taller. Like it's never like a they're gonna be three feet hot. Like it's and it's so painful. Yeah, it's so it's not a. Don't they so like don't, 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 don't they like it's break so they they break they hip uh, and, and, femur. and ma- yeah it's 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 all pain and it's no it's normally only a couple inches. Now the dude who did it. I think he did like six. His was a lot more because he wasn't a a dwarf or he wasn't, you know, he wasn't he went, a little he went person. From what five five to five ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wasn't a. So he was just like it's almost like Dave just saying, "I want to be y'all size now." <laughs> I've never said that. I know, but I'm just saying if I if I have to give us a real time analogy, it'd be like Dave. <laughs> The next, the next picture you see of all three of us, we all yeah. gonna be the same size, and then we gonna tell the camera go down, and Dave gonna have ninety band aids on both. <laughs> see, see, this is a reason. This, this is what is this what his leg gonna don't. look like? Rock, look. Yeah. And that's gonna be the. All you're gonna see is this um, much of Dave because he's right. so <laughs> he yeah, he gonna be all up over here on the on the he, camera. He's gonna be apologizing all the time. Sorry, y'all, I can't fit in my old chairs. <laughs> now he over there flexing his chest because he don't like to see. Oh this, man, want to get mad. I this, don't want to uh, be tall. <laughs> this is the reason right here that homeboy went from five five to five ten because. Oh. Guys that are I'm trying to think of a size, <laughs> not a small person, but just uh, pretty short sure dudes. Size. Dog. Yeah, sure you dudes have been catching problems their whole life. Yeah, guys, it, because guys like you and Rock, embrace like it. Guys, who you talking about? Regular size men? Say that. <laughs> Give us a name too. Who you talking about? You, you tallers? <laughs> That's taller men. Call I am you the walkers? average. I am the average size. Of a man? Nope. You the average size of a sandwich? <laughs> nope. You the average? You a subway? You a you a half a foot long? That's what you are. You that six inch sub, dog? Don't don't do that, dog. You not average size of no dude. See? This is the why. This is the reason why they have it out there. This this should even be a part of life because you a grown God, man, Dave, who been yeah. playing sports and lifting weights and 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 handle your business all the time. Have you ever thought about getting that surgery? No, I haven't. I'm happy with me. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like I know you are. That's why you don't be tripping off us. But have, you I ain't never seen it. But when you was Put a kid, now. Did you Put say, now, Rock. Put your... I don't know. When you was that. a kid, when you was 10 year old Smurf, did you say 
One day I want to be as tall as Gargamel. <laughs> oh. guess, who, guess who brought this topic up and said, I want to talk about this on the uh, I Hate the Homies podcast? I brought it up. Because you, ain't, you ain't never one time since you was yeah. 21, I say grown, 21 said, man, I don't know, I might do that surgery. No, I've <laughs> okay. never. Now, I can say when I was maybe like 10, 10 or Yeah, 11, I know. Little kid don't count. Everybody wants to But I'm just saying, you, you will find ways to make yourself taller by hanging yourself from the, <laughs> from the wall. <laughs> They didn't hope, been through it, boy. And, and, and hope your legs come down a little Wait bit. Wait a minute. You used to hang yourself from the walls? I mean, from the cell. I mean, from the, you know what I'm talking about from the door, man. The, I hate y'all. This, this is the reason right here. This is why we can't. This is why we couldn't do this. Story. Like y'all a three legged sloth? You used what to hang mean? yourself? John. I used to, I used to hang oh. myself upside down. Feet like hanging over something. You hang like a bat. Like a bat, exactly. <laughs> Hoping that. That's why you I'm like Batman, huh? Well, well, don't cover your mouth. <laughs> I'm just telling you something. This is at 10. I ain't saying it was at 21. Or oh, 30. man. I don't know what the. <laughs> hey, let's I'm, move on to something else. I'm happy, I'm happy with who I am. I no, probably. Yeah. No, yes, I not. am. No, you don't. I know who I am. I'm, no. I'm, I'm disappointed in people. If they get you on the radio, if they said today, hey, Dave. <laughs> Can you sign off on this endorsement to get near your bone stretch? Would you go get it now if it was free <laughs> and it ain't no. cost no money and no. they could guarantee five inches of your height? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I wouldn't do it. Okay. Because it's guys like you and Rock that would see me walking around the studio going, you'd be laughing even more because you know I did something to try to make myself taller. Hey, Rock. Yeah. Rock. Then he start walking like a new deer. Look. <laughs> No. Hey. Hey, Grim. Hey, Grim. Hey, Grim. I hate the homie. Hey, Grim. Grim. Episode one. Episode one, Star Wars. I walking like Jar Jar Bates. Oh, oh man. I Don't, do it, Don't do it, Dave. Don't do it, Dave. I can't. We love uh, you like you are, man. Never mind. We stop teasing you. Don't do it. <laughs> just conti- just That's continue. Just so continue to good. Just continue to hey, hurt me. Big Bing. Hey, Big Bing. Our homie Big Bing is walking by. So there's a there's a thing. There's a male plastic surgery thing going on with, with men that are short. They're trying to lengthen their height. Hey. Okay? They're adding like two or three inches to their height. So Super Dave, hey. you know, he struggles with <laughs> struggles with his height. So he's he's thinking about doing. It. You got some words for some encouraging words for Super Dave, real fast, dog. You're saying, man, just you know, get in there and you know, be ready, you know, so you can uplift yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there it is, dog. Let's uh, let's talk about NBA playoffs next, man. We I hate y'all. I really do. All right, man. Uh NBA playoffs. Why are you Listen. still laughing, man? Why are you hey, still man. laughing? It was that walk, it was that new deer walk to do out. Uh, I have no idea. You're gonna do that. <laughs> oh my God, Griff, you laughing at that? You a comedian? Don't do that. Hey, I need all mine, like oh. JJ say. I need all my little laughs. Oh man, so Golden State Warriors, the champs, Woo! have been eliminated by LeBron James and the Lakers. Who want to go first? Can I just me... say, when go I ahead. landed in New York, I got to the hotel. Probably, I watched the last. Nine minutes of the Miami Knicks game. Uh, I watched because remember I was talking to y'all and y'all was like, they about to lose it. It was close, then it wasn't. Then it was just too much heat at the end. So watch that game, but then had a chance to watch the whole Laker game. And I was like, okay, Golden State about to show them right now. Dog, when it was 27 to 10, when AD was nine for nine in the first five minutes when clay went one for 11 i've been telling my kids forever in basketball on 2k and in real life live by the three die by the three that's the rule like that's it the way they stopped them boys from shooting the way lebron let me tell you something that white boy for the lakers lebron liking number one 
LeBron likes him. The confidence that you got to have as a new dude in the league and LeBron James is giving you the rock and you bust it every time you get it, dog. I just felt like that. And then he hit that three at the half. I said, if the if Golden State don't come out bussing in the third, this and because LA had every celebrity you could think of was at the game. It was powerful in there. And Golden State couldn't do it, man. And it looked like they was now Steph gonna get you what he always gets you, but he needs help normally. They didn't help him. This is the problem I have right now. I mean, the Lakers did their thing, but I think it was more Golden State than anything. When you come out and you have wide open shots, let's not sit up and say that that Lakers are playing just incredible defense on them. Clay had wide open looks, and this has been happening the last the last few games, even in that series against Sacramento. Yeah, him and Jordan, him and Jordan Poole, Jordan Poole, who just got paid. I mean, I don't advocate violence, but now I see why. Green hit him in the jaw. Why he got punched uh, in the chest? He got punched in the face. <laughs> Dang, because Dang, he, he, was, he he been spelling them. He been spelling themselves since they won a championship. And what Draymond was trying to tell these guys is, you riding the coattails of me, Clay, and and uh and Steph Curry. Yeah. You got to come in here and make your own. Look at the look at the wild shots he was taking. I'm talking about Jordan Poole in this series. He was taking got what shots that Steph Curry makes. It's only one Steph Curry. This thing. This guy thinks he's in that same category. He's a role player right now who didn't give them anything. They bitched him in the game before that because he was playing so terrible. Clay was the biggest disappointment because Splash, when you say Splash Brothers, you got to get something from more that than one. That means something. That means two yeah. people. That means more than one person. <laughs> eight points. Eight points from Clay. Clay shot horrible in this series, and it he won knows. the Lakers' defense. It's, he, knows. he couldn't find the basket. And that, you, you you saying it wasn't the Lakers defense, but defensively they was in the right places to make some good rebounds, that, man. Good re- a, rebounds, but I'm talking about defense. When people say defense, I'm no, they wasn't defense. just locked on and no, they couldn't do no. nothing because they was getting the shots. That even the commentators was like, another one missed. Wow. Yeah, because when I saw they were down, I turned the game off because I knew they couldn't come back from that. I'm talking about in this first half because I knew Steph could get his. But you had Wiggins, you had Clay, you had Poole, who wasn't giving them anything point wise. That's it. That's why they lost this series. And Steph <clears throat> bailed them out against a young team, against the Sacramento team, who in the same series before this, he got the same kind of contribution from everybody else. We know what Steph can do. These other guys got to step up. I don't think the dynasty is over. I think they'll be back next year and they'll regroup and retool. I'm gonna say this. Sacramento took their heart, dog. Sacramento took their heart a little bit, Rock T. Go ahead. I'm I'm gonna say this, man. Uh LeBron's James, LeBron James's legacy has just increased, even if they don't make it to the championship game. Let me tell you why. He went up to upper management and said, We got to trade Russell Westbrook. And I want to get some role, some specific role players on this roster to go with me and AD. So this is his game plan. This is his putting the team. They barely, they weren't even going to be in the playoffs. They barely made the play-in game. Rock, right, don't give them that much credit. You didn't no, let me let me finish. They barely, they weren't, they weren't even going to make the playoffs. They made All the right. trade. He got the players that he wanted. They barely made it into the, the play-in game. They won the play-in game. Now they're in the playoffs, making this run. Outside of the 2016 Cleveland Cavalier Championship that he brought Cleveland, this will probably go down as the second best accomplishment in LeBron James's career. Now, if he makes it to the championship and wins it, man, I don't know. This, this is listen. Well, it's, you put this. Wait, hold on. You put no, this second. You put this second because I'm putting Golden this over State. all the championships over that oh. he had in Miami. Okay. I'm putting them over them too. Over them too. Okay. Now. Look, you got to start having conversations. At, if, if he's able to finish the job and win this championship this year with this he's team. Number two. He's number two. He's number two. Absolutely. You, you can't pass Jordan. We already okay. had that conversation. All right. He, he's, you got you to give him number two, though. But I'm, I'm just impressed from what he has done from at the end of the season up until now. And I, the Lakers organization literally said, okay, this is your team. If you want us to I, do this, we're going to do it. And it's I working. Don't, I don't like LeBron. I respect his game. I don't like him. 
but for you to give him all the credit, I give him credit for bringing Russell Westbrook in because he brought him in. But I think it was Rob Palenka who did all the moves that you saw and made all the trades that made this team better. I'm not giving LeBron no crap for that. What what kind of sense do you make? You know good and well before they make any kind of trades, they're going to go to LeBron say, first and say, hey, man, not what you think? Absolutely. Yes, they oh, need no, they, they need him happy. Super Are you crazy? Dad. They not going. They not sitting in. They not sitting in a in a in a in a boardroom going. LeBron, what do you think is next week? But they definitely gonna say we want to get you some help. Who you liking right now? Absolutely. We're we're looking at these three. Who you like out of them? Oh, I was with. I, we play in the summer. Me and him work. That's my dude, right? Like, oh, they talking about it. You you got to know they talking about. But you it, couldn't make the move without getting rid get rid of Russell Westbrook. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And that was a bronze mess. So I can't look past that. That was his mess. He wanted this guy brought in, and it didn't work. And Anthony Davis still ain't worked out. We're going to see what he does against the Joker. Because now you got somebody with size, look, all right, that has skills. Let's see what he does then. Now, we all said that the Lakers' success is going to depend on the X factor of Anthony Davis. He showed up in the series. Yes, therefore, he did. Therefore, he did. they're smaller moving on. Guys. Get smaller guys. Right? No, you're right. The Joker are holding to the they exposed. They exposed Golden State as being little fellas. Okay. <laughs> they, they they really did. You're right. Get up that little stuff. Get up that little stuff, man. We just talked about the, the long legs. Okay, you well, you, you can tell that Golden State players got the surgery, Dave. So relax. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, man. Joker is for real. Well, while they are worrying about the Joker, you need to be worried about that point guard over there. Murray. In Denver. That boy Murray. is fun to watch. Murray. He's fun to watch, Jack. Look, it's going to be hard to beat Denver. I'll be honest, man. I think they are the best team in the West this year. But listen, LeBron is LeBron. And he's, I he's, continue, to, exactly. he's continue to prove that I'm 38 and I ain't got no signs of slowing down. He's exactly. Some of his best ba- basketball. And that part is impressive as well. When you can have fun and it ain't on you, you're going to be the best. It's going to be easy for you to dish it off to a whole bunch of people because guess what? Any any basketball coach know an assist is two points. <laughs> Come on. Come I on. appreciate so what, that. Before we move to the next series, who are you picking in this series? Lakers and, and Denver. We can change picks now because I had Golden State, so we can move yeah, on. Yeah, I had that. Golden State. I think yeah. we all had Golden State. So who are you going for, the Lakers and the uh, – uh, Y'all Denver go league? first, man. I'm, you I'm, know, still, I'm still pondering this, dog. I'm, I've been pondering. I knew Dave was going to ask me sometime today. But I wrote down right now because they made it this far. I'm I'm going with the Lake Show, dog. Okay, okay. I'm going with Denver. Keep, keep it counting. Denver. Denver's been the best team, and what's funny about all this is I want to see. I want to see though. At this. First of all, it's two eight seeds, right? Because the Lakers were eight seed. Mm-hmm. So two eight seeds made it to the West uh, Eastern and Western Conference Finals. So Miami did. Miami yep. was an eight seed. So that's it's incredible. A, it's a rematch from last year's Eastern and Western Conference Finals. Well, it's a rematch from what you said uh, what a, a couple of years ago. It's a rematch from the bubble. That's what we're looking at. We're looking at Denver. The Lakers were in the bubble going against each other. And now Boston and Miami. Okay. Miami beat Boston to get to the championship game in the bubble. And the Lakers beat Denver. A young, hey. Denver, a young Denver team. Are we going to talk about Boston now? <laughs> Let's get to it, baby. Like, Let me like, tell you something. James Harden let down the world like he normally do. The the, the MVP Joel Embiid. He 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 now knows he needs help. Um, and well, he let down the world too. Let let down, no, 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 no. Game seven. I'm just saying, they world let downers, dog. Let's not that confuse. That was garbage. They, oh, like, look, look, yeah. hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead, okay, Ron. James Harden, Joel Embiid, easy first ballot Hall of Famers, future Hall of yes. Famers. Okay, absolutely, no doubt. Two of the greatest players ever playing the game, but they put garbage out on the court in game seven. You can't do that, man. Look, I don't listen, I get it. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose, but what they put out there was horrible. And, man. and sometimes your shots hitting, sometimes your shots not hitting, but man, that was straight garbage. There ain't no excuse, man. Two players with that caliber, there, there's no reason why you can't. And they, and they was. The team played pretty solid in the first half, but to just let the game get away like that for game seven, man, that was right. garbage. And they should be ashamed of themselves. You're right. 
let's put the blame where it truly belongs. Let's put it where the guy that cried for the last three years of being trying to be the MVP when really it should have been the joker this year, too. From what the, from the way he played, Julian B should have came in game seven. We saw Steph do it. We saw Jason Tatum do it yesterday uh, on Sunday in game seven. He's the one that should have had 50 points. He's the one that should have had 20 reboard, rebounds. I say reboard yeah, again. Reboards you know. again. I cut myself. <laughs> I cut myself. Reboards. <laughs> 20 rebounds in the game, but he didn't. He finished with 15 points. He wasn't even the highest score on his, on his basketball team. That's the embarrassing part. We criticize every MVP, MVP that makes it Eastern, Western Conference Final, or the semifinals, and he should be critis- for, uh, criticized right now. Not James Harden. We know what he is. But Joel Embiid this season was the MVP, and he's he, he been crying about it for the last two years. Now you've got it. But in game seven, you're supposed to show up. If anybody else don't show up, like Steph Curry in game seven or game six against uh, the Lakers, he showed up. If you're the superstar of your basketball team, you better be the leading scorer of that basketball team in that game. Period. 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 It's an embarrassment. And I think your guy is going to lose his job because that's his 10th time losing a set. Oh, you doc. Oh, doc. 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 Yeah. Hey, I was out there doing everything I could. Now, Boston's a good team. And I know because I coached over there too. So for me, hell, I could go, I could go to Phoenix. I could go. To, <laughs> I, I, could go to, Washington. I could go to Milwaukee. <laughs> Hold on, coach. It's whatever. Let me get. Hold on, it's, coach. Let me give you a cough drop. Let me give you a cough drop, please. Yeah. Hold, on. Hold, on. Hold, on. Hold on. You're making me hurt. Yeah, You're quit talking, Doc. <laughs> but that's ten care. times, guys. Ten times, care. man. Ten times he's lost in the seventh game. But why? Man, I think Doc. Know? I think Doc is a great coach, but. I mean, you got to change that record around. I know it goes. Doc be a great coach in spurts. He might be at the end of his great coach part at the Sixers. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Because well, never know he is. was a great coach with the Clippers. He was a great coach with the Hawks. He was a great, but it always fade away. Like Doc be sweet, be sweet, and then they be like, "We need to start doing something." Well, I know one thing: who's sweet? Is that dog on Jason Tatum? Like he's like yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's, he he what? Now he broke the record, bro. In seven games. Come on, man. You when lie, you talk, dog. you talking about faces of the NBA. That's what you, you got to put him in top three. That's like what right you now. Want. Like right yes. now. Like come on. That's dog. what you want. From man, a you want a dog? That dude right there. It's it's at the much, crib. As much as I want to see Miami get back there, they I don't have I, enough. I this may be a quick four or five game series, bro. Yeah, like, they tired. They've been because New York put them through it. And Jimmy is, I mean, Jimmy going to be Jimmy every time, but the other when, guys, when I look at Tatum, when I look at Tatum and Brown, they got, I mean, it's three weddings. boys over there that can quietly get 27 a piece, <laughs> like quietly. And for him to be with the franchise that gave us Paul Pierce and Larry Bird and KG and Ray Allen and, his name go right in there real easy. Like for him, I mean, he is that. Listen, that's what you want to do when you leave college, come to the NBA. He been a star since he been there. Uh, you know what I mean? Is uh, he is doing? And, and and let's not forget this, Rob. What's that coach name? Brand new coach. Exactly. Brand new coach. Exactly. Missoula. Took his team to the East. Now, now. I don't know what his interim coach money was, but that cost something. Oh, come right, on, dog. Come right, on, Dave, dog. That cost it, something. It cost something, but the biggest cost is you got talent, too. It makes every coach look even better. Yeah, but talent and coaching oh, don't always yeah. mix. I think, I think it's both because Doc has talent on the other side, but they didn't show up in game seven. I think the biggest – I think we all agree. We all agree uh, we got Boston in, in this series in the Eastern Conference Finals. Absolutely. Yeah, don't bet against Butler, but I, I'm going with Boston. Okay. Yep. Now, the big question is because you saw Monty Williams lost his job with the Phoenix Suns. Right. Over the weekend after losing their series. Well, Doc, uh, well, Doc saw, lose his job. You saw the Bucks head coach lose his job, and he won a championship, what, just two years ago? Yeah. Doc Rivers, if you're the GM and you're the owner right now, are you keeping Doc around? Yes, yes or no? 
Yeah, I'll let, I'll let him ride out his two years. He got two years left in his contract. I'm letting I, him ride I, that out. I need to believe that he can get us exactly where we were last night one more time, at least yeah. once in the next two. If he can, if he can get me there one more time, I feel like the money was worth it. If I can get him maybe a little more help, um, and and then of course the Sixers is right at that. Ain't no money for nobody else. <laughs> like, yeah, right? I guess the, I guess the funny part is you're not losing to Boston every year. You lost to Atlanta the year before. Atlanta. Atlanta you had know. a little special thing going on though. You yeah. lost to Miami. Yeah. All right, Miami is respectful. I, I know, but I'm saying I'm saying we can't just say they're losing to Boston. To me, I'm getting I'm if I'm the GM, I'm the owner, I'm getting rid of them because I still see ten losses in a seventh game. And he can't get past that. If I'm if I'm the owner of the, the Clippers Philadelphia, did it, right? Did the Clippers do it? Look, if I'm the owner of the Philadelphia 76ers, I gotta be real with myself. I don't think my team is good enough to win a championship, even oh, with Joel Embiid and Harden. I just and don't that's think that's what are. you and as an owner, that's what you gotta keep it real with yourself. You gotta keep it real. Like we ain't we ain't a now with all these, team. now with all these Denver's and Memphises. Well, used to be Memphis, but not with not when I can name six, seven other teams. Yeah, and we're talking yeah, about as owner, not as a GM, as somebody whose family get this team when I die. I don't think my team's sweet right now. <laughs> but it just—it's funny how most of these guys are getting fired. They were culture of the year in the last five years. Yes, and all of them I can. <laughs> they all got yeah. except for Doc. We, we're it just Doc. mean it don't mean nothing. Man, yeah, I'm, st- I'm still ba- baffled with what um the Bucks did with with they coach. Man, that was stupid. That yeah, was, that was that, stupid. That's gonna bite them in the butt. That's gonna yeah. bite them in the butt. Yeah. But let's wrap up, man. We got the NFL schedule that was released, so we're gonna talk about a couple of the games that we excited about, man. Getting ready for the next season. Uh, we're gonna do that next. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities in partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. All right, so uh, the NFL ski, uh, the NFL season schedule was released, man, and uh, I'm for me, I'm super excited about opening game of the season, the Super Bowl champs, Kansas City Chiefs playing my Detroit Lions, and uh, I know y'all gonna probably say, "Oh, y'all gonna get drugged, y'all gonna yeah, get blown." Why are you excited? Are you are you a Chiefs fan? Are you turning over to another to another team now? No, I'm a Lions fan, baby. And we're going to roar. We're really? going to open up the sea. We're going to shock the world because Kansas City Chiefs are still on that high. I get it. You know, Patrick Mahomes is, is Patrick Mahomes and all that. But the Lions, the Detroit Lions, is going to shock the world <laughs> to open up the season and win over the Kansas City Chiefs Griff, Super Bowl champs. Griff has what? a bag over his Shout head. Shout out to Coach Campbell. Let's go, baby. That's all I got to say. Has a bag over his you. head. He's as a, as, a, as a tattooed Raider fan, I hope y'all shock the world. We shall. I hope y'all do. But as a as an NFL really? fan, Thank you. y'all going to get lifted, dog. And I like all the new additions y'all got. Wide receiver, running back, backup quarterback y'all got. The linebackers, you got the uh, – I, I like I like Detroit. They not Kansas City ready yet. They not. Can't trust me. Trust me. This is a – y'all don't have to play them all the time. Kansas City about to let y'all know why you in that division. Win your division. Don't worry about the Chiefs. So y'all already talked about opening day. That's the that's the Kansas City Chiefs against the um, against the little Detroit Lions. But 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 how about this though, right? We play Detroit in Detroit. Let's go. Y'all going down too, bro. Let's go. Like let's go to the game. Let's not talk about it. Hold on, eleven wins. Go. Eleven Rock, wins. Rock, Detroit Rock. will win eleven games this year. They, I got win it all. they don't win eleven games right now, dog. You better tell hey. them, Dave, why we gonna win Rock. eleven games. Rock, you may, they may not go down. You know, let me tell you why. Why? Because I don't know if you saw the news. Who's trying to get into buying ownership with the LA with the Las Vegas Raiders? Tom Brady. 
He was a part of the right. He was a part of the right. Why are you looking like that? Why are you it's, looking like that? It's Vegas. It's Vegas. That's a Me smart and my move. My brother talked about this yesterday. <laughs> he's a he's a stain on our franchise, dog. Like, and now he want to be part of it. Go yeah. go go go, he, go buy the Buccaneers, dog. So go put a, some money in on the Patriots. Right, Leave us alone. Right, right. So he's a stain of your team. Not the last twenty years of not being any kind of in a part of the NFL. That part. That's the part that's been a stain. Don't do that. Don't don't do that, Griff. Don't do that. And I like you know Raider what? Nation. I like you Raider Nation. What? Like for real. But come on, dog. Tom I, Brady. Here, here go the games I'm excited about. Okay. I don't like this at Buffalo game we got. <laughs> I, I like at Chicago. I like at Detroit. And I actually like at Indianapolis. That might be one of the last games, maybe that first week of January. Um, but we also play New York um, and Green Bay as well, and the Steelers. Um, so I, I my schedule looks very hectic. Like I can't look at it and go, we got a tough schedule. The tough is strong. The Bills is good. Steelers is unpredictable. Green Bay going to suffer. Chicago ain't proven. Detroit should be a good game. The Giants should be a good game. Don't, give, don't, give, don't give your prediction yet. Next week, we're going to give predictions. Or the week week after, we'll give predictions. We'll go down the schedule, look at the schedule, give your team. Oh, which ones we going to win? Yes, which Hold ones on. we going to win? I need we'll to make that. a real – I need to make a real uh, – what is that called? I hate to use them. Uh, Excel sheet. Yes, that's right. Saying, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't guessing. We need to be week one. We yeah, week one yes. <laughs> I want to okay. do that. I think when I look at when I look at the schedule, I think the biggest part is, yes, you got the three games, the three games on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Did y'all, did y'all see what the NFL did this year? No. What's they put a game on Black Friday. That's no, when you know you pimp in the game. You know That's it. That's when you know you, you know. Own, so you own gonna sports. you gonna do you gonna do three, and then you have a fourth one the next day. The next day on Friday, where everybody else is shopping. Yeah, That's first of all, here's how horrible this this is. Who playing that game, dog? Oh, they horrible. It's Jets, Miami Dolphins. the Jets, the Miami. Rodgers. That's a game. great game. Bro. <laughs> that's that's, a, all right, that's an important game. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah. it. But, yeah. but it just, for our whole lives, we watch football on Thanksgiving and Friday be our little break. So you're not going to watch? No, I'm saying they, they, I know. they're changing Thanksgiving. Yes. That's what they. No, Thanksgiving, what they did was, and it's brilliant. No AFC, no AFC teams are playing on Thanksgiving Day. You got the Packers and the Lions, the tradition with the mm-hmm. Lions playing, the Cowboys tradition playing, the Washington Commanders, and then the nighttime game, the Seahawks and the 49ers. Mm-hmm. The only AFC game is on the next day is on a Friday, on a Black Friday, and it's a big primetime game. What, I like they know how to right. sell it, man. They're selling the game. Man, right. what, when is the last time you said – prime time game in the Jets in the same sentence. Exactly. <laughs> because of Aaron Rodgers. We know why. Right. Know right. right. What Aaron Rodgers gonna do though? I think I think he's gonna I think he's gonna be all right, man. Because the boys Jets, together, you're gonna they're gonna corral around hey, him. The Jets was this close last year from kind of upsetting a bunch of teams and beating a bunch of teams. So right. uh they lost a lot of close games. And and, and, and and we all know that Aaron Rodgers last year pretty much he man his mind he, he was like man whatever last year he was like he was whatever, in the man. dark the whole season <laughs> pretty and, much and, man <laughs> and Monday night should be happy too because you look at some of the games we're, we're in on this but you look at some of the games on a Monday night you got Buffalo and the Jets in September you got the Chargers and the Bengals man that's September like twenty fifth that. that's a good quarterback uh, the Cowboys and the Chargers Cowboys going against the old, old offensive co- uh, offensive coordinator yeah. That's a great. That's uh, the the, Va- uh, the Raiders going against Detroit. That's the one you mentioned earlier. The Chargers uh, against the Jets. Broncos. Them is Monday Bills. nights. Yes, these are Monday night games. Detroit man. on Monday night. Come Rock, on, baby. We need to go, Rock. What is you talking about? It's gonna be you know at Detroit too. Lose? Huh? huh? You see them lose? No, us, man. Please, at yeah. home. You anyway, crazy, Rock. We Rock. need to go, Rock. <laughs> let's let's look at the calendar and try Rock. to figure this you thing out. Last, you remember having last year when Griff went to the game? Against the Chiefs, oh and yeah, they were up was... at one point, and he yeah. was sending all these pictures and stuff, and then what happened at the end? Yeah, he almost slid his wrist on that one. <laughs> all that black blood would have come <laughs> boiling out of your veins, bro. Oh, I didn't forget, Griff. I didn't forget. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I may not have long legs, it's but a, I let didn't me tell y'all, everybody that's listening, it is it's so hard being a Raider fan. But every year, I go to four or five games. 
Straight up. You are a straight up fan. I give no. you that. Straight hey, up. look. In, but in, I, hey, ever but since I'm not that going game, to Arrowhead for a minute, dog. I'm ever not. since that game, your beard had quite been shaped the same, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you need to brush it down a little bit. You need to trim it up a little bit more, dog. I mean, you just ain't been right since then, dog. <laughs> Touche, Rock. Touche. <laughs> On that note, it's time to get up out of here, man. Uh, happy one year anniversary, fellas, of I Hate yeah. the Homies. It's and right, uh, episode yeah. number 52, Rock Teasies, who I be pimping. Yeah, go and trim you that beard. Go on, brush it, man. Go on, brush it. Make it look better right now. It's your boy Griff, always groomed and always <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate the homies. It's your boy Super Dave. I see where the stain is, it's in your beard. But guess what? We don't, we don't care. care. <laughs> Dave, your beard want to be my beard when it grow up. <laughs> Tell your Dave, tell your struggle beard to email me and I could give you some pointers. This is a beard. What you no, talking ain't, about? That ain't no beard. But tell tell that little Beijing you got on his face. The peanut gallery laughing now. He sell he's like a sellout. Who you talking about? Who you talking about? The hairless cat? Yeah, thank you. The naked mole rat. <laughs> Ray down your place something. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hate the hummus. <laughs>